To set up the virtual terminal in the Pro 700 or Intelliview 4 display, press the toolbox key. Then select the VT tab along the bottom of the screen. We are now in the VT setup screen. The first window allows us to enable or disable the VT. Make sure this is set to yes. The next window is VT compatibility. This is only required when using auxiliary ISA bus controls such as joysticks or switch boxes. If your auxiliary control is an older OX-O type, such as the original FlexiCall Air Seater switch box, select version 2. If it's a newer OX-N type, in most cases you can use version 3. Some newer implements may also support version 4. If in doubt, start with version 3, and if you are unable to assign functions during the auxiliary mapping process, then try version 4. The next window allows us to have the display send radar or GPS speed messages from the display over the ISOBUS CAN to the implement. If the tractor is fitted with a TQ controller, it will already be sending these messages on the CAN bus. On these machines, it is recommended to set this to no. On standalone installs without a TQ installed, you can choose to either send GPS or radar ground speed. If more than one display is being used on the machine, we can identify the VT number in this window. If this is the only display on the system, then leave it at one. The next window allows us to set how many soft keys we see in the virtual terminal screen. The choice is six or 12. The preferred option is six as it displays a larger user interface. There is a down arrow to access the additional six soft keys. If your particular implement requires constant use of many different soft keys, you can set it up for up to 12 soft keys. Most newer ISOBUS ECUs are optimised to work with six soft keys, such as the CNHI Air Seater ECU shown here. The next thing we have to do is go to the VT Preferences tab. This is where we can set the units that our virtual terminal will show on the screen. One simple press on either soft key along the top will set all the units accordingly in either metric, imperial or US measurements. You can also set individual parameters to display in different units as required. After verifying your VT preferences are correct, go back out to the toolbox tabs. Go to the layout tab, add a VT 2x6 window to one of your run screens. Rename the run screen as well. You can now access the VT screen from the home page via the ISOBUS soft key or on one of the run screens. Each time the display has a power cycle, it lands on run screen one. So this will give the operator a quicker and simpler startup process. It will also allow for quick switching between VT, guidance, tractor, map, or any other run screen that the operator needs to see during operation.